The robotic navigational bronchoscope works by using its advanced software to map out the patient's lungs and airways. This map kind of shows a path that we can navigate towards to the very periphery of the lung. So we can die mark and or biopsy these very, very tiny nodules and hopefully find them intraoperatively so we can resect them. As pulmonary physicians, we go after little nodules that normally we would have ignored. It is safer than the alternative, which is trying to do a CAT scan biopsy, or just watch and wait for the nodule to be big enough, or to send the patient under anesthesia to have an open lung biopsy. So the, the advantages are tremendous. The lung cancer surveillance guidelines are expanding year to year, and those patients that have suspected small early stage lung cancers, uh, the so-called ground glass lesions, or very tiny under two centimeter peripheral lung cancers, those are the folks that would benefit the most from the use of both navigational bronchoscopy as well as uh, the robotic surgical platform. This is very important for patients because these early nodules can now be resected before they worsen and increase in size or spread. So when a patient comes in with a suspicious lung nodule, they have a planning CT scan, and once they are set up and worked up for surgery, they come directly to the operating room. There are no other intermediary steps between seeing us in clinic and oftentimes coming straight to the operating room so we can provide them with a diagnosis and hopefully curative surgery all at the same time, the so-called single anesthetic event. We also have bought in and are about to implement using a technology with artificial intelligence that will be screening every x-ray report whether it was ordered for the lungs or even for the abdomen which can catch the bottom of the lungs or the neck which can ca capture the top of the lungs or any other imaging that includes the lungs this software will be able to look at it these are called incidental pulmonary nodules uh, and once we find them these are the ones that a lot of time end up being the missed cases of cancer where we could have done something about. Increases in technology in both the navigational robot as well as the robotic surgical platform has greatly increased the efficiency of how these lung nodules are treated from operating faster, getting the patient home faster, getting patient back to their lives faster, and potentially curing their cancer faster. So our clinical team, including our pulmonologist, has now performed well over 100 single anesthetic cases that involve the navigational bronchoscopy as well as uh, robotic surgery at the same time.